From time to time, your sanitary valve requires routine maintenance to ensure peak operating efficiency. This video will teach you the standard service procedures of the SPX APV Delta SW4 single seat valve. Servicing the SW4 valve will require the tools displayed here. It is important to note the use of APV food grade grease in the maintenance procedure to ensure proper operation of the valve and its internal components. Use of other brands or types of grease may cause damage to internal components resulting in a malfunctioning valve. Please refer to the operation manual for additional details on where and how to apply grease throughout the maintenance process. The correct seat seal assembly tool is also required and selection is based on the size of the valve you are servicing. This ensures a proper fitting assembly which maintains the hygienic features of the valve and adds to the integrity of your overall process. Before disassembling the valve, please confirm the process line is empty and pressure has been released from the system. Determine the position of the valve by the location of the stem connection in the yoke area. A normally closed valve must be activated to bring the shaft to an open position which compresses the internal spring before opening the valve and removing the valve insert. Remove the lid of the control top unit to gain access to the solenoid valve. Activate the solenoid valve by turning the manual override. To bring the shaft to an open position, unclamp the body and return the valve stem to the lower position if the valve is a normally closed valve configuration. Deactivate the solenoid valve. Loosen the screws in the clamp ring, which holds the control unit to the control unit adapter, and move the clamp ring down over the actuator. As long as the cover is secured in place on the control unit, it still remains IP67 NEMA compliant. Place the control unit near the valve body. Remove the air hose connecting the solenoid valve to the actuator. Lift the valve insert from the body. Remove the magnet adapter using a 17 mm wrench. Next, loosen and remove the coupling nut which holds the actuator and the valve shaft together. This requires a 17 mm and a 19 mm wrench. Hold the centering ring in place while loosening and removing the upper nut. Finally, remove the centering ring located underneath the coupling nut. The entire unit can now be lifted off of the valve shaft. The following steps will demonstrate how the product wetted parts of the valve are disassembled. Using a pick, remove the body seal, shaft seal, as well as the split guide bushing. Gather all required parts and lubricant for repair of the product wetted zone of the valve assembly. All of the required parts are available in kit form through your local APV distributor. Apply a thin layer of APV food grade grease to the O-rings. A packet of the recommended grease is supplied with the seal kit. Install body seal, assuring that the seal is installed evenly in the provided groove without any twists or high spots. Next, install the split bushing by compressing at the split until the bushing falls into the machined groove. Lubricate and install shaft seal and seat seal. Ensure that the seat seal is oriented correctly with embossed letters facing away from the product zone.
This section will demonstrate the seat seal removal procedure. To protect the valve shaft from damage, aluminum brackets should be placed over the jaws of the vise. Once the brackets are in place, secure the valve shaft in a vise as shown. Carefully remove the seat seal using a pick. Please note the correct orientation of the seat seal in the groove. After removing the seal, remove the valve shaft from the vise. To install the new seat seal correctly, the seat seal assembly tool must be used to ensure a proper fit. A correct fit will avoid causing adverse valve performance or potential product contamination issues when placed back into service. Inspect to assure that the seat seal groove is clean and free of damage. Disassemble the seat seal assembly tool. Place the valve shaft inside the holder. Place the locking screw over the shaft and tighten so that the shaft cannot rattle. Apply a very thin layer of APV food grade grease on the inner and outer surfaces of the new seat seal. Avoid applying an excessive amount of grease as it may cause an improper fit of the seal in the groove. Place the new seat seal over the metal ring with the seal inscription side facing up. Next, insert the metal ring with the new seat seal inside the assembly tool as well as the PTFE ring. Tighten the C-nut while the seat seal assembly tool is locked in the vise. Finally, use a C-spanner or strap wrench to tighten the screw firmly. Loosen the C-nut. Remove the PTFE ring. Release the vise and remove the seat seal assembly tool. Undo the locking screw and remove the valve shaft. Inspect the seat seal for an even fit. The next step will demonstrate reassembly of the valve. Apply a thin layer of APV food grade grease to the wetted portion of the valve shaft. Locate the plastic tube, which also comes standard with the APV replacement seal kit, and place it over the thread at the top of the valve shaft to prevent potential damage of the PTFE shaft seal inside the yoke when inserting it through the yoke. Position the valve upright and install the centering ring. Next, install the self-locking coupling nut and tighten using a 19 mm wrench. Use a 17 mm wrench on the centering ring to block it in place. The required torque is 40 newton meters. Screw the magnet back onto the guide rod and tighten it with minimum torque. The next step will demonstrate installation of the control top and return the valve insert to the process line. Place the clamp ring over the actuator and install the control unit onto the adapter. Next, position the clamp ring and tighten the screws. Remove the control cover. Install the air hose between the control unit and the actuator. And activate the solenoid valve by means of the manual override in order to lift the valve shaft and compress the spring. Place the valve insert back into the valve housing. Install and tighten clamp wing nut finger tight but firm to ensure proper seating. Deactivate the solenoid valve to allow the shaft to move into a closed position. Install the control top cover and tighten until the window and the LED stripe are aligned.
Following these procedures will help you properly maintain your SPX APV SW4 valves to maximize operating life and maintain process integrity. To order replacement seal kits or tools, contact your authorized SPX or APV sales representative or visit www.apv.com for more information.